All right, all right. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome back to our Power Hour. This is Zinger Nation. We are talking stocks. We are talking trade ideas. The reason why we are spending these 45, 50, sometimes 60, 70 minutes a day together is because we want this to be the best trade idea resource out there. We, we want there to be no better way to spend your time than to come here, hang out together as a group, and, and get some trade ideas flowing. You know, ideas not just coming from myself, not just coming from Jason, who's going to hop on here with us shortly, uh, not even just our guests, but also all of you out there. So, so we can get some stock picks, we can get some winners, we can make some money, we can tell some jokes. Yesterday, we threw out the idea of, of doing a weekly prank on Spencer Israel, who hosts our, uh, our, our pre-market prep show in the morning. People didn't like that, so I guess that maybe we will have to keep it to stock ideas. Um, but at the very least, that's where we will go ahead and get started. Hello, everybody. And if you're watching this on, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Twitter, the, the main chat where, where most of the community lives, where our Zinger Nation community lives, is on YouTube. So, so go ahead and click, just search, uh, go to youtube.com slash Benzinga. Simple as that, and you will be able to, to join the chat, talk the stocks, that whole sort of thing. So, all right, guys, let, let, let me uh, uh, give you a little bit of a rundown as to what we're going to do today. Uh, so, so we're going to start off, we're just going to jump into it with a disaster of the day stock. Um, I'm going to give you an update on my live portfolio. As always, show off the holdings, uh, talk about what, we've going, what we have going on in some of these names. Somebody already guessed the disaster of the day. Daniel Wu, come on, man. I guess it's an obvious one today. But yes, we're going to talk about Splunk is, is our disaster stock. Uh, I, I want to crowdsource some ideas on, on just the market in general, right? I'm going to talk about SPY, but, but just want to uh, uh, talk about general market sentiment. Um, I'm going to, I got a new stock pick. I'm going to be pitching you guys a stock that, that I'm going to be uh, uh, putting on the buy list. Get some of your feedback on that. We're going to do our chat challenge, right? This is Zinger Nation competing each other. We're trying to guess the price of Tesla uh, midday tomorrow. Uh, and I mean that, that should take us more or less through the, through, through the session that we have here guys. So boom. All right, let, let's hop into it. Uh, oh, and last thing I'm going to say, throw, throw some of your tickers in the chat. I, in my opinion, the market is actually sort of boring today. No, none of the stocks that I care about are doing anything interesting. So throw some tickers in the chat for us to, to look at and check out because we absolutely do want to be doing that. Um, but all right, with, with, without further ado. Let me pull up my pull up my fun little banner, guys. This is the one that I get hated on the most for. So I want to talk about our disaster of the day. This this is the stock that unfortunately is taking home the the disaster of the day uh, 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 award. It's not a good award. Nobody wants the disaster of the day award. Somebody already guessed it. It's it's Splunk. Uh, ticker SPLK. If you own this stock, don't tell anybody that you own it. Uh, you know they, they might not listen to your ideas in the future. Uh, I see I see somebody in the chat saying that that the Splunk numbers were terrible. Uh, yes, that is absolutely right. I mean I I think that th this Splunk report had I think every bad thing that could hap possibly happen out of a single earnings report. I mean I I don't remember the last time that I've gone through an earnings report that had this many things go wrong with it. So so. So, so let, let me show you guys what happened, and, and I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit more here, too. But basically, we've got Splunk down 20% on the day. Uh, but so so, so, so here, here's the deal. So in the earnings report, they, they uh, one, they, they, they missed numbers, right? Missed estimates. You know, that, that's a bad start. Two, they lowered Q4 guidance. Not great. Uh, three, they, they pulled out their 2023 targets. And four, or oh shoot, I got to go to five. Uh, four, the, 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 the big number for them, the, the, the new ARR, annual recurring revenue, was actually down on a year-over-year -year basis, not something you want out of a growth stock. Um, and then number five, they said that it is taking them way longer than expected to get deals closed. Uh, Splunk is a software company. Um, yeah, the, the hint, I'm going to put this, this one out that's coming out of the chat. The hint here, not a good time to buy the dip. And, and so what I did to, to make this more, more interesting and more entertaining is, is actually read through the analyst research reports, you know, like the Morgan Stanleys and the JP Morgans and, and whatever other analysts uh, uh, cover, cover the stock. Um, because the analysts came out, let's just, let me just show you guys some of the analyst action on this. 
Um, let me filter it down to our BZ wire here. Okay. All right. So, so, so the stock is trading now at, at $163 a share, right? We all see that. Okay. Ch ch check out what these analysts did. And guys, please go ahead and throw us a like in the stream. The, the more likes we get, the bigger our Zinger Nation gets, the, the more people that we're in front of. So, so go ahead and, and drop us a like. Um, I'm even going to throw it in the chat. Uh, but all right, so so you've got Needham coming out, putting a two hundred and seventy-five dollar price target on the stock. Raymond James, one hundred ninety-five. Stiefel, one sixty. Morgan Stanley, two thirteen. So so you've got the the stock at one sixty right now. And and other than Stiefel, I mean, I've got one ninety-five, two seventy-five, and two thirteen for price targets, right? So 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 you've got analysts way bullish on this thing. And and I was trying to read through the, the analyst reports and figure out like. How the hell are they still bullish on this stock after everything that they just said? They literally the 2023 targets that they took away as a company. Um, but but the 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 here was the silver lining in all the analyst reports was Splunk is resetting the bar of expectations. The the fact that they they cut guidance, took away you know their their forward looking couple of year off targets was that 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 they're resetting the bar for expectations, um, which is not even a bullish factor, right? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just the bad news is out there. And, and so so for that reason, Splunk is, in fact, our disaster of the day. Somebody said it, not a great time to buy the dip. I agree with them. Again, you, you had everything that could go wrong with an earnings report from the numbers to the guidance to the forward-looking guidance to the CEO commentary was bad. And what's up, Jason? What is up? Why was Splunk down so much? What was the short story? All right, that? ready? So here's the short story. It, it had the worst earnings report of all time, maybe. I mean, I don't remember the last time I've read an earnings report this bad. So one, they, they, they missed numbers, right? That's bad. That happens often. Two, they, they lowered guidance. That's really bad. Still happens decently often. Uh, three, their, their new ARR, like, like, like new business, it d is down 7% year over year. Not what you want out of a growth stock. Uh, number what four. What they do? It's a, uh, a a SaaS play. It's uh let's see. So it's software for machine log analysis. Wait, but let me keep going. Let me keep telling you what, what all, all these horrible things. They, they had 2023 20, targets, right? That they just removed. They just said these are unrealistic. We're taking them away. And then the the management commentary was that it's taking us way longer than expected to close deals right now. So so I mean everything that could go wrong in an earnings report went wrong. And then, and then the analyst came out and defended the stock, right? They stayed bullish on it and said, you know, at least they lowered the bar for future for, for future expectations. Again, not what you want out of a growth stock. Totally agree. I hope you didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. If anybody in the chat likes Splunk, I, I saw some some decent Splunk hate comments. Uh, but if anybody likes Here. this thing, put, put in your reason. Okay. All right. My, my favorite was somebody said, not a good time to buy the dip. <laughs> All right, um, you guys, we get, we have the most, I mean, this is the most profitable day in the history of the show, guaranteed. All right, which Sarah stock? A, Sarah, a, which stock? Are you freaking kidding me? Which stock? Which, which stock? I said, which stocks? Oh, stocks, okay. There. Yeah, give us you, some tickers, baby. I don't want to yet. If, the, if, if you guys are making money right now, Go hit smash that like button so hard. Share this in your social media. We're going to take a little moment of silence for that. I mean, we got NNDM. We got five below. I mean, the stocks that I gave you the past two weeks are rocketing today. I mean, just rocking. I, I, I mean, come on, guys. O-Z-O-N, uh, Kiraly, O-S-W, um, N-N, sorry, uh, yeah, N-N-D-M, V-Y-G-V-F. Uh, you, yeah, I got the you, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet, bud. Come on, stop. U U P W K. Okay, one of my longtime holdings. We talked about it. Brian Jacoby was on the show. He gave it to you. T A S T. Tast. Carol's Restaurant Group. We are up 10% again today. I mean, this is what is happening in the market. Twilio. T W L O. Um, I didn't sell my Switchback Energy. S B E. We're finally getting a little move on there. We're up four percent. Um, TRSSF basically up 0.4. I mean, that, that those are the moves, and those are the moves. The only thing that I see in the red right now in my account today pretty much is, um, I guess a little Facebook and a little generic GNRC and Amazon, but not really. It's like flat. So those, I mean, that that's the moves, guys. 
So those are the moves. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm on the most margin I've been on in my whole life. And I remember I told you that a few days, like a week ago, I got back in. I mean, I had a little bit more on it. Square is even up today, 2% after it's rocketed. Um, five below was the earnings play. I gave it on Monday, earnings play. I bought call options. The call options. All right, let's look at that one. So, so wait, were, were there earnings yesterday? Yes. It yes. Was yes close, right. I, I'm a pro. I got to put a siren on for this one. How, mu how, how much do you hate that? But oh. yeah. But no, I sort of like. I died below. Did, did anybody speakers get blown out? That, that's the question. I have to talk over Luke with my intercom because he just won't let me talk today. Okay. Now I can go back to normal. You can talk, Luke. Oh, Luke! Luke removed himself. He, he got he got sad. He got sad. He got sad. Um, yeah, if you, I but, mean, if you just want to talk the whole time, I mean, we don't need two of us. Oh, did I sell Tesla, Anthony? Is my face blue? Am I a Smurf? Did I sell Tesla, Anthony? Did I sell Tesla? Wait, is that a real question? I bought this stock thirty-eight dollars and forty-two cents three and a half years ago. I I haven't sold Tesla. I think I sold it now. What am I selling it for? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, Luke, where's your soundboard? They're asking about your soundboard. Let me see it. Let's see. Let's go to action. Let's hear your sounds. Go. Boom. Luke, woo, 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 woo. why do you not have the soundboard? Why do you refuse to make our room better and get people excited and have noises? Why do you refuse? Well, I, to I brought door? Rocky in today a little bit. I, I, I see Rocky's. You, you can't um, really see him. He's a little tall. I see his pelvic area. Are you, yeah. are you trying to tell me something? I mean... I'm just doing what you asked, okay? I got you know that right there for you. Okay. Sarah A, so you were a trader. If you're a trader, Sarah A, you make a lot of trades. Love to have you come on the show. Talk about how you made money at NNDM. Um, I'm tired of just these men talking like we're talking right now. We need to uh, diversify it up. All right. So now we have something to do. We want to look at that. You said my the trade that I made in five below. I told you it was an earnings play. I said buy it. I also think it's a Christmas holiday play. Here's the situation. We bought it up 20, up 20 percent today on the option, but 30 31 percent since the trade was made. What, what was the, the uh, what was the strike? The 165s, February's. Okay. Oh, so these are just about in the money then. Stocks at 163.40. They so I I sold one already for um, a 30 percent gain. Okay. So I don't know, you know, maybe because it's February and the people know it's gonna. I mean, this stock's gonna go. This stock will be up in December. I mean, it will be. But I sold. I sold a fifty percent of the position. I sold some of the calls, not all of them, but I sold some. Um, right. Yep. And so um, and here are the numbers. So 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 earnings last night. Uh, EPS thirty six cents versus a twenty cent estimate. Revenue four hundred and seventy six million versus four hundred and forty six. Uh, sorry, four seventy six versus four forty six. That is really strong sales beat. Thank you, Benzinga Pro News Desk. Yeah, I mean, my only thing on the Tesla thing, it's like, I have this, like, I like sharing my account with you guys and showing this stuff. And the problem that I have is when you see my account, you see my percentage gains. And that's like, I want you to see like good returns. So my problem is when I'm really confident on a stock, I don't buy it as it goes up. My original buy of Tesla was at 38, like 76. Mm -hmm. And I thought I bought 200 shares, but I bought 100 shares. But then I figured that out when I was at $76. I'm like, I thought I had another 100 shares. I easily could have bought another 100 shares at 76, right? Or not easily, but I could have. And I didn't because I was like, oh, it'll, it'll ruin my dollar cost and like it'll make my returns look less. Think about that. If I would have bought another 100 shares at 76, so 7,600, so $8,000. Okay, so that would have been, yeah, so that would be a two, yeah, so that would equal 760,000. You know, so 100 shares, I bought it for $38, so it's $3,800. If I didn't sell a share of that, and I'm not saying, I mean, I may have sold a few, but that would equal today $321,000 basically. I mean, so another one would have been 600. It's crazy the the moves. And at that time, that was in like four years ago, I didn't have any money to really throw around. I mean, if it was a real position, I would have maybe bought a 500 or a thousand, share, you know, whatever shares, and it'd be worth 5 million these days. So it's crazy. Um, and it's hard to, and oh yes, Anthony, I have my calls. I did not sell the calls on Tesla. That's what you're asking about. I apologize. The December 18th, 520 strikes I bought for price 1720 was the price that I bought them for, $17.20. And I told the whole room here, we can go back to video. Actually, we, we hired more video editors 
So we should go back to the date of the video of my Tesla trades when I bought these options for 520 a share. And I said, guys, your downside is so limited. You should buy this thing. So he said, don't worry about percentage return. Okay, think. Yeah, I get it, Bill Big D. You got to be a, you got to be like Blackjack. You got to be like a program. I get it. So we're not um, all as good as Bill. Yeah, we're not all as good as you, Bill. And we want you to come on the show, but you keep refusing. It makes It hurts our, uh, it hurts okay. us. But but let me just finish on this thing, guys. So Tesla I bought for $17.20 a share. The options are at $82.56 for a total gain of 381%, 0.25. Okay, that's one. And then I bought the January's 540 calls. Um, and so, and that one's up 482%, bottom $15 and they're $89. Um, I haven't sold either. I, when I bought it, I didn't buy as much as I probably should have. I bought like two of each. So 3000 and 3000 each. So it's a nice gain, but with the confidence level I had at the time, it was when everyone said Tesla was dead money after the battery day. And I mean, we're, we're in a pre-market prep show with Dennis and Joel and they were laughing at me buying the options. And at the time when I bought them, I, I, I was kind of like, I could be screwed on this because this move is not happening. And the move didn't happen for two weeks, guys. Two weeks, Tesla sat there still. Pierce and Crosby. Oh, my God. Okay. What? Um, this guy's calling me, oh, Peter. He wants to come on the show. Hello? Hi, but Jason. Hey. We're, live, we're live on the show. Are you calling to go on the show? Hey, Pierce. W w welcome to Zinger Nation, man. See? Welcome to Zinger Nation. You're on. There's the Wait, Pierce did give me a hot stock a couple weeks ago. What, what, what was the stock? Ryan Ryan. R E N N is the ticker. What is it? Elastic. He said elastic, uh, Luke. Which what, what ask him for a ticker. What ticker? We need a ticker. E S T C E S T C. Anathesis. Anathesis. Oh, what? No. What's the reason elastic? Fifteen <laughs> percent. Oh man, it's incredible, yeah. What, what is, is it? Earnings today. Earnings. Earnings. You gotta take earnings. He doesn't under, earnings. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand the question. We're asking you, what is the reason for the move in elastic? What does it do? That's what they're asking. Oh, it's literally a software as a service layer for giant companies. Uh, basically, a SaaS product sold into SaaS products. So it's a derivative. It's like a SaaS square. Yeah, exactly. And I love elastic. Is it a new IPO, Luke? We go up there because I would have owned this one. I don't own it, and I don't know why I don't own it. I love it. I didn't know it was public. I think I did actually wow. recently. And then what's the one that he told you? Pierce is a, an analyst at trading you guys. Um, so now what's the one that he, Luke, that he told you about? Uh, uh, Ren. Ren Ren. R-E-N-N. -E -N -N. Romeo Echo, oh, November, November. Yeah, his, his friend or boyfriend uh, works at Ren Ren or something, right? Right? Don't you have a friend that works at, don't you have a friend that works at Ren Ren? <laughs> no, I don't. But, uh, okay. Yeah, nice try. All right. Yeah, no, it's great All right. You, by the way, you, by the way, you should go on to the yeah. YouTube channel, and you'll see that you you got some. You got yeah. Some can everybody give a thank you we, that for for Pierce Crosby for joining our show, yeah. analyst at Trading View. Every everyone give a a, a ty thank you to Pierce, um, analyst at Trading View for joining our show. Yes. Join and he gave us a ticker. And gave us an elastic. Ticker. I'm honestly gonna. Oh, everyone's doing it. I'm honestly gonna buy his elastic. I think. And the run run, I I don't know about. It. I don't know enough about it. All right, all right, all right. I love you. Talk Peace. To you bye, bye, right, bye, bye. That was great, right? That was awesome. Oh, come it's on. Probably guys. funnier for us because we actually know him. But all right, no, Jason, let, let's, way, let's talk way, a little more Tesla. But we will. But by the way, we need to talk one thing. You know the prank thing? We got some votes. We're going to do it one one day a week. And I think our first prank should be on Pierce, where we tweet to him. Okay. And like, you know, something. I want to do Spencer it. Israel, but maybe it should be Pierce. We could do Spencer Israel. I mean, that would be. Um, good. Uh, where is everyone today? Yesterday we were like 280 people right now. I see 150. What's going on here? I don't know. It's we're not getting all the likes. How many likes do we have? I'm not even in the YouTube. Is that really what it's about? I mean, come on. Are any of you guys? I don't know. Are any of you guys? Well, well honestly, we haven't talked to any of you. <laughs> we need to talk some trade ideas. We did. We sort of did. Well, all right. What? We, we, we throw out any stocks that we're still in? I guess we, you said you're still in five. So, so there's one. But here, um, I, I want to get a trade idea on Tesla going. I want to get a, a uh, an options play on Tesla going. I'm buying. I'm buying Elastic right now. So let me tell you about yes, that. You see, so, there's one. I mean, Jesus, God, I don't know, Luke. There's, no, I mean, the, or I guess we don't show the trade ideas page. I, my, the amount of a trade ideas I have in that system, or I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm up 302 percent in six months. What else can I do? I, I'm never gonna. If I'm gonna be like this all the time, I'm gonna stop benzing it as trade. 
You know? There you go. All right. Well, then help Who's me put the together this Tesla trade. Here, here here's what I'm asking for. Who's investing in the Raz hedge fund? Not no me. One? Not you? Okay. Thanks. Yeah, put, put, if, if you're not investing in it, put a one or a two in the chat. No, no. Um, no, no. If you're investing it in it, <laughs> press one. If you're not investing in it, press two. Because one's positive, you know? All right. All right. Here, here, here's, here's what I need your help with. Okay. It yeah, is, right. I, I want to, I want to sell more puts on Tesla. It's a trade we did a couple of weeks ago. It, it worked very well for us. Um, and so, so basically we're, we're, we're selling puts on the stock because we're, we're taking income right away, free, free money into our brokerage account. Um, and, and we walk away with that free money as long as the stock stays above the price strike. I'm looking at the December 31st. So as long as it's above the strike price on December 31st, if not, then I'm starting to build a position in Tesla, which which I am absolutely okay doing. So, so Jason, my, my question to you is, uh, you know, it, let, let's throw let's throw out a couple numbers. So, so 500. Are are you how confident are you that that Tesla will finish the year above $500 a share? We're at 492 right now. Luke, we're at 592. What is wrong with you? Sorry, we're 592. How can you ask me a question and have it be an awful high 100 points? Well, did I say how confident are you it'll be above 500? Or yeah. 400? Said, okay, 500, said, yeah. And then you right, said, 500, what? it's at 592. Right, no, he says at 492. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to, I was, I need, because I always need to like, think about my situations. Um, I'm fairly confident. All right. So, so, so that one's a fairly. If we're, if we're moving up to, to 525, e -trade I think is, that adds a ton of risk into the trade. E-Trade is down right now for options trading. I do not know what is going on. E-Trade is down right now. They should talk options. to Opera about that. Okay. Um, all right. What, what about 525? Let me, let me throw you out that one. How, where do you feel there? 510. Let's go 510. How about that? So 510 is like your fairly confident number. Yes. All right. So, well, so to be honest, I'm pissed at you because I'm in that stupid call thing, and I'm going to have to sell 100 shares at 600, and I don't want to because I haven't sold shares, and I'm just pissed all about it, and I really don't know what to do. And, I, and it's the show's fault, and the show doesn't even give me any love because no likes and all that stuff. So whatever. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. How many do we? Really? I know I have to check the number of likes. You know, the, you know who the one who does give love, and I don't know where where he is, what he does. Second wave. Him. His name is PJ Williams. That guy, yeah, yeah. love like if I saw PJ Williams in person, like if I was in person somewhere, I feel like everyone would come up to PJ Williams because like if you didn't know who he was, I just bet he was like one of the nicest guys. I bet he goes around town and it's like you know that old, that movie, um, The Wonderful Life. Everyone's like PJ, oh there you are, PJ, PJ. Everyone just probably loves when PJ enters the room. I mean, I, I don't think he's made anyone mad in his whole life. I don't I like you know road rage or someone where he cuts someone off. They're like, oh, it's PJ. I mean, PJ is the nicest guy I know. Boom. I like Mr. PJ too. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. I say it how it is. All right. So, so, so I just want to, so, so closing out this Tesla trade. So, so 510 is the strike that, that you're fairly confident with. And, and so I'm, I'm adding this one onto the buy list. I'm not buy. I'm not selling the puts now. I'm putting it on the list. The next down day that we get in Tesla. I'm going to pull the trigger there and, and sell the puts at the 510 strike hold on, hold on. for December five, 31st. Hold on, boss. At the 510 strike right now, what would you earn in premium by selling the, the 510? So so every contract I sell, which I would sell one, uh, I, I'd, I'd get $1,775. You're telling me if you sell the 510s right now, you would get $1,700 as long as it finished below 510 before the end of the year? Correct. And ideally, I'll, I'll just trade out of the position like we did last time. I don't want to hold it through the end of the year. Ideally, the stock will run to 650. Uh, I'll earn 80% of, of that 1700 and then bomb out of the position, free up the cash, not have to think about it anymore. Oh, so then, so that's a thing like, so then I should have done that on my Upwork when I knew before earnings that they were going to be way above because no analyst did the research that I did when I when I knew those earnings were going to be so strong. There wasn't downside. It was just a question of how much upside there was, in my opinion. I guess you don't never have a crystal ball. So I should have, in your scenario, I should have sold a bunch of puts at that price because I would at least earn some more income because I knew that it wasn't going to trade down like that, right? Yep, yep, exactly. Or does it not move as much because the premium, because Tesla's more in play? I mean, is that maybe something or no? 
Uh, say, say that again, but differently. Like, te- like I'm just saying, like Tesla has so many people trading options. I don't. I wonder if the Upwork options, it, if it really would have moved the way that this one would have. Like, you can move. I mean, seventeen. Yeah, dollars. no. There, there's, there's. I think there's plenty of liquidity. When there's like easy money on the table, yeah. I mean, sure, sure, you might give up some of the premium, but not a ton. All right. All the right. options. I mean, we're we're talking, you know, fifty plus percent moves in a very short period of time. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, Bill Big D said, "I don't have to lose my stock. I would love him to go into my account and trade my options and fix that trade, but we'll do that another time." But the other thing I was going to say is the thing that I regret most in 2020, other than like Corona, Kobe Bryant, all that kind of stuff. And we can talk about that. I'm talking about with my trading is that I found some really, really good trades and investments, but I didn't put enough risk capital along with it, along with it. I really didn't. You might Upwork one. I even like looked at myself when Upwork was mm-hmm. at earnings. I sat back. This is like a week before earnings. I'm like, okay, Jason, am I satisfied? If Upwork goes up 60%. Am I satisfied with how long I am? And I like said, okay, yep, yeah, I am. But I really didn't like think about it till it, you know if I really truly was satisfied because I, I, in hindsight I wasn't. I should have had I should have had more margin on. I should have had more calls on. Like, like my, yeah. when I, buy, when I buy calls guys, just to give you an idea where I buy calls, I buy, but is this like your fun money account or is this like your, your, you know, savings account or is it, is it a hybrid of both hybrid? Okay. But I would say more savings, but yes, it's risky. But yeah, like my- that, that's is that, is that, here's mine too. Right. So let me zoom in on mine. See, <laughs> see, I, I don't take huge stakes in a lot of these stocks either. Right, because this account, I use it as a hybrid, where I've got 70% in the ETFs, right? So you'll get IWM, the small cap ETF, there's 11.5%. Uh, you know, USO, 3%. Well, where, I, hear you. I, hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But I want to make the people here serious money, Luke. Okay. Yep. And, and I think it's actually like when we're on, I think there should be thousands of people in here because I, I really, if you look at my record, I really haven't given a, a losing trade except for GAN so far. I really haven't. I mean, it goes from Express Spa up 180% from when I said it. I mean, it's, it's honestly, I really haven't. Okay. And if you, so if you look at probabilities, it's not like I'm saying, it's not like I'm, Luke, and your, your record it speaks for itself. I'm not, I mean, you know, it's amazing. Like, you know, and, um, and my point is like, if you have someone that if your if your success rate is over six percent, you're great. Mine's like ninety percent. These trades that I go hardcore in, like the Teslas, the Upwork, the Five Below. I mean, that one I didn't do much for it, but I made six thousand dollars by making a um, a couple call out, you know, ten call buys, and that's it. Like, and I did them long dated because if the if the if the earnings play last night didn't hit the numbers I thought they would, I wasn't going to sell my calls. I was gonna wait for the next quarter because I knew Christmas sales are gonna. Yeah, yeah exactly. You got two more cat. So, so five really quick. You've got two more catalysts in it. They're, they are gonna put out a holiday sales number, right? Where they're gonna say, "Here's how our holiday sales were," and then you still have another earnings report. So, That's I like cool. that long dated call strategy a lot. Exactly, and it's not me looking at you guys. I know I'm not like you know Joel technicals and all that. So, we pull up DS. We need another stock. Is going DS? Let's go DS right now. What's what's DS? Dicks? I don't mean no, no. It's not DS. Dick. What's Dicks? DS? Dix is DKS. DS yeah. Drive Shack. What the hell is a Drive Shack? Let's what look at What the hell is a Drive Shack? All right. Drive Shack. All right. Uh, golf leisure entertainment businesses. So traditional golf properties, entertainment golf venues. I wonder if that's like a top golf competitor in, in corporate. So, so it's, it's a golf play, like a fun golf play. Can you give me the chart up there in the, up in the thing? Okay. Here's a one year. Here's your one year. All right. Um, will you freaking get out? Okay. Yeah. So drive shack. All right. I mean, I don't know. Are, are you leveraging the home on that one? I've, I, how have I never heard of this stock? I don't know. I was wondering that too. Let's look at their website. Locations. All right. Let's see. I bet they are not in Michigan. It's 130 million market cap. I mean, are they, are they, are they presenting our small cap at conference? Look at this. Look at this, Jason. This is top golf. This well, is your top golf. You see the website? Oh, this yeah. is your top golf competitor. That's uh-huh. sort of an interesting trade, actually. This is one to write down on the list too. I think to look into. I'm putting this one down. So right now I got the Tesla five ten puts are on the idea list. DS is on the the idea list too. And and on this drive shack in 2020, there was some nice insider buying at 140 162. 
It's up 11% today. I'm liking that. Um, they had some news November. This this one could be interesting. Yeah. Right. Put, and, and will you put it on my the idea list here? Yep, it's on the list. So so check this out too. It, it's breaking above. Look at it. it. Got stopped right here, right about two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, two bucks, and, and it looks like it it either is going to pump fake us. Or, or, or this one might start breaking out from a technical perspective. So, so that I think that is interesting. Oh, I forgot. There's this new app called Clubhouse, and I was on it last night. And they brought like a few hundred people to come listen to me about stocks. And uh -huh. a person came in about space. Yo, know, when you called me last night, Clubhouse is like a voice app. Oh, it's is that what you were doing? You're like, I'm on a call right now. Yeah, I was on. I, was I, on I said, what call? And you'd already hung up by the time that I finished. I was that. on Clubhouse. <laughs> and it was crazy, this Clubhouse thing. And then they kept hitting me up again. And, like, and I finally had to like turn the notifications off the app. And now now I'm probably missing them. But there's a space app. It's Chris Kaji's here. This lady is supposed to be here, but she may have forgot. But there's a space app. It's like Maxar, MX something. Uh, do you guys know it? Wait, yeah. oh, wait, we're not. <laughs> I pulled up the stock space, SP, SPCE Virgin Galactic, but that no, is not good. the right ticker. No, no, hold on. That's good. Okay. That was one of the ones we talked about. She's talking about, um, Chaz, we're going to get to Nike in a second. I'm an expert on Nike or pretty good on Nike. So, but um, Chris Kaji, do you know this? The, we're looking for, so we like to go where the puck's going to be, not where it's at. So in flag football, when I'm trying to train the kids, don't go run to the guy where he's at. Go where he's going to go to. Same yep. thing, Wayne Gretzky. He went where the puck is going to go. All my investments, or most of them, are those kind of um, trades, those kind of investments. So the, the symbol to pull, Luke, is yep. M-A-X-R. M-A-X-R. This is a uh, supplier to, like, space and utility stuff. So I was asked about this last night for, like, an hour. We were studying this stock. And I said, my buddy Chris is going to come on because I think he probably knows about it. But I went to Benzinga and I didn't see any articles from you on trade ideas for MAXR, Chris. So I don't know if you know this one, but if you do, I think we you, you should come on right now and give us a little uh, rendition on MAXR. Are you familiar with it or no, Chris? If you are, then I'm going to add you onto the stream right now. Just let me know. And then Luke, we'll move on to the next segment. What would you say? Cool. All right. This one's interesting. Yeah, I would like to do a little space segment, you know, go uh, where the puck's going to go kind of thing. But I don't think Chris is familiar with it, so I guess we will not do MAXR. Oh, wait. No, that's Christian. Oh, oh, it's Chris. Chris has been messaging us, Luke. See, I don't even oh, see really? it. Oh, no, that was like yesterday. I don't know. You guys use Slack, see? Luke, you Slack me. Um, all right. So now we're going to go. Um, all right. Let me let me, let me me throw out a, a couple things really quick. Go ahead. Um, and, and then I want to get into our chat challenge, too. we got to do the chat challenge with just one day left. So, 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 so a couple things really quick. This is, is my portfolio I've got up on the screen here right now. Um, uh, I want to talk about some of these community bank stocks. We, we haven't talked about these in a while. I, I own several of these small community bank stocks. Ba basically, the thesis is that I think that they are take takeout targets. Um, you, know, you know, they they have huge regulatory costs. A lot of them have really strong balance sheets, strong customer bases, and they can get scooped up by some of these regional and national players. The, the other thing uh, uh, is, is dividends. When, when we talked about these these, re, these small community bank stocks before, we, we didn't really talk about the dividend component. I've got three that I own today, all going ex-dividend at a dividend yield over 4%. So I'm collecting a few hundred bucks of dividends today. Uh, let, let me give you the tickers. I don't know if I'll find them in the list on time, but ORI, uh, that, that's one of them. And then FRME, those, those are the two that I have. There's ORI. Um, and then FRME, wherever that one is, uh, is going X dividend today. And there, and there's two more, I'll, I'll throw out just some other tickers that are, that are going X dividend next week. You got, I've got, I own LBC, ORRF, CBBI, um, there's our FRME and, and UNTY THFF. So I've got a lot of these small bank stocks, small allocation to each of them saying that they're takeout targets. I'm getting paid nicely while I own them. They're stable stocks. They don't have a ton of volatility. Small positions in each one because that way, if they do get taken out, um, you know, I, I can sort of spread the, the the luck around. So, so just wanted to give that quick update. Moderna still running up to 150. They're testing children, and then of course, we could not do a show without talking about my favorite stock to hate, the one that I love to hate, which is Neo. You pull them back again, Neo to 45, baby. That that is the next stop on the stock. 
It, it killed me yesterday when it was down to 39 bucks pre-market and finished the day higher. Today we're getting a little bit of a pullback, but I have to ask this every day. It's like a, like a Zinger Nation tradition at this point. I think this is like the 15th day in a row that we've done it. If you guys like Neo at 46.50, you have to buy the stock. You have to short the stock. You like it at 46.50, hit the one. You don't like it, hit the two. Yesterday, Neo was a wave of ones. I mean, almost nobody said that they didn't like the stock yesterday. So, so I I, I want to see the sentiments change. You know, it, it it did have a really nice move for all you bulls out there yesterday. Um, but uh, I, I want to see where everybody's at. Again, one, if you like the stock. Two, if you don't. I own puts on Neo. Um, you know, they, they for 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 options, they they've been relatively flat since we bought them. Let's see, we're up twenty percent on them so far since we've gotten into them. Now I want I want a more aggressive move than that in this thing. Uh, and and I have the January fifteenth forty dollars strikes on Neo. Still feeling good about that trade. I think the thing's got more room for downside. And look at that. The the sentiment is split today. We, we've got about half ones, half twos. All right. My my, my, my bears are increasing. The, the the bears in this thing with me are the numbers going up. So, you know, stocks that move like this, that are at such crazy multiples, I mean, several hundred times revenue, they, they've got room to fall, I think. So hanging out in that one. Okay. All right. Should we should we should we do our chat challenge, Jason? Um, not yet. Okay. They're asking for a pick, and this I keep getting asked all day today about a stock, and I don't know right. if it's, I don't know if it's the same person, or like in multiple channels, like on Benzinga Pro. This, but they were asking me about it, and then they and then just now they're asking, and so I don't know enough to be dangerous on this one, but. Um, I'm looking into it and that's what I'm distracted by. But uh, the stock is the Carvana competitor is what they're trying to say it is. Shift Technologies, I think it was a SPAC that converted. So Shift is the it's an automotive, SFT is the ticker. It's like, you know, new type of car delivery stuff. And here's so, a one month chart for everybody. Yeah, it just, it just came out, I believe, Luke. I think that's where we're at on that. Um, so this SFT is... Um, something that's interesting. I need to see who the management is because I need to see if they can manage numbers and see like meaning like if they're good. They seem like they got some real stuff here. What I like is there's some insider buy right when it went public from the CFO and CEO. So I'm liking that. I'm just trying yeah, to like, that's great. I know this I know this market, Luke. I know the like these good these the brooms and all that stuff. So I'm just trying to see what the status and what their Twitter looks like. I mean, there's little things you can look at guys. So when my, like, this is what I'm trying to talk and educate. When my Upwork trade came about, it wasn't just because of COVID, it was because they changed their pricing model. So I was an Upwork user and I got to see they changed their pricing model and I knew it was gonna affect earnings and no analyst uses Upwork, I guess. So they didn't know. And so this one, if you guys ever see things where companies like Shift or whoever change their model, you gotta tell us in the room. This isn't just about me and Luke being talking heads. F us. If you guys are paying attention to like Ulta and there's a new makeup line that's selling like crazy, we don't know about it. I mean, Luke makes he buys a lot of makeup for himself. I, yep, I do right now. And, he buy, and you buy it for Pierce as well. So I, um, so I, you know, so I, I don't, so it's, it's awareness. I think the biggest thing in investing when it comes to fundamentalizing that best thing is, um, you know, raising your level awareness. <laughs> Damon Kepper goes, it's a meet Kevin play. Damon, I promise you, very little people know what the heck you're talking about. I do. Um, I'm gonna actually bring Kevin. No, there was a couple of people who dropped who said meet Kevin in the chat. Oh, that's Yohan and Damon. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, I, wait, he he, he likes shift. You're saying is that what you're saying? All right, I'm gonna bring yeah, Kevin. I think on that's what he's show. saying. You guys want Kevin to come on for the show tomorrow? I'm gonna I'll reach out to him tonight and see if he'll come on. You guys, uh, that's all. We'll see. I'll ask him. All okay. right. The, the, the whole problem with getting Kevin on, he's going to look at our, you know, we don't have enough likes. He'll say, you guys, they don't like you that much. Okay, so the ship thing, I'll buy some, just pay attention to it. I don't have the positivity on it like I had on an Upwork because I don't know it well enough yet. But I like, the, the, from the preliminary stuff, I like there's insider buying. It seems like they are moving fast. So I'm buying it. I bought it as in size of a small to, small to mid. No, I mean small to mid, but I'll keep it for like to at least Tuesday and see what happens. So I just bought it, okay? Um, if you want, you guys want me, Kevin, on here? Hold on, I'll, I'll make that happen. Okay, Luke, do your thing. Now do your um, your chat challenge, sorry. Chat challenge, woo! This is my favorite part of the show. 
All right, guys. Chat challenge. Uh, as we say every day, we want this to be the best trade idea resource out there on the market with the ideas not just coming from myself, not just from Jason, not just from the guests that we bring on, but most importantly from Zinger Nation that, that is all of us in this thing, in this crazy market together. Uh, so every week we, we have the chat competing. Where, where sometimes we're asking for a stock to buy on the long side for the week, sometimes on the short side. This week we did something a little bit different. We asked everybody in the chat, what price will Tesla finish at on Friday, at 12.30 on Friday? Last week, Tesla made a historic move. It went from 500 to 600 in a single week. Um, and, and so we asked everybody, where is this thing going to finish? And, and here, here's where we're standing. Right now, the, the price of Tesla is at, we just looked a little bit ago, is 590-ish. So, 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 Jason, right now you are in the winning bucket. The, the, this 575 to 600 bucket. So, we got Christian, Matt Will, Second Wave, Maximilian, and the Raz Man are all in this 575 to 600 bucket. But I'm going to remind everybody the same thing we've been saying every day this week 24 hours is a long time in Tesla world. A lot can happen in 24 hours. If, if you're sitting down here with me in this 550 to 575 bucket, you, you've got some, some life. I mean, there's a possibility in this. If you're sitting up here with Scott, RR, Andre, and Praveen, the 600, 625, you are absolutely still, I, I'll say you're, you're, you're still potentially in the money on this thing. Um, so, so, so that's where we're sitting. Again, this is Zinger Nation competing against each other to win some, some Benzinga merch, uh, to get some Amazon gift cards out there to the community. Um, but, but Jason, right now you're, you're in the top bucket. You feeling good about this one? I mean, I, you knew, I, I mean, come on, I, I, Tesla is my baby. Yeah, I feel good about it. I feel good. Oh, you better not let me beat you on Tesla. All I need is $16. It was down there yesterday. Yeah. I, I, I'm at 575 to 550. Come on, baby. We, we got some unexpected good news last night. Uh, Goldman Sachs upgraded the stock. Bullshit. Screwed up. Screwed up my pick. You realize? You realize he's the well, Let's see what happens. You realize the anal, Goldman Sachs analyst said it's a thirty percent, about thirty percent upside. He like just coming out of the story. I mean, you, the, it's just so crazy to me how an analyst comes this late to the story. I, I don't understand, guys. There's so much to this story. It's crazy. I can't even look. Look, look, look how big, big this and, price and, target is. And what what people let? What you say, dude? Look how big this this freaking yeah. price target for Goldman is. Seven hundred and eighty dollars a share. Can you take us to our new Benzinger ratings page and show them on that page? Yes, I them. can. So you know what's crazy to me um, is that um, Jay Towers. That is great color. Jay Towers. If you send me an email to Jason at Benzinga.com right now, I will send you an Amazon gift card. If you send me an email to Jason at Benzinga.com, Jay Towers. I love that. He said, hey, Raz, SPH, I tried to get propane last night in four places sold out. That is the kind of color we need. Thank you, Jay Towers. That is what we're looking for. That is how the Upworks and Tesla plays come about. But my point is, when I bring up Tesla, when it was at you know half the price, everyone's like, you know, Jason, the thing is, um, the, you know, every car Tesla sells, it's like $800,000 if you take the market cap. That's just the wrong way to put the value on it. You can do that to any company. I mean, any company you could figure out why it's a negative corollary or a positive corollary. It's just, I don't know. It's just super silly. And 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 I and I don't argue about it. I don't argue about it. I mean, I see myself getting ripped in the in the chat. You guys should see some comments from in Tesla when I like six months ago. The guy told me to take a walk off a a, a short cliff. You know, he's like, I'm so wrong, and I'm gonna lose long it. walk. It was a long walk off of the short cliff. Yeah, long not walk. Not just a walk. It was yeah. aggressive. It was aggressive. You like so this little pop up here on my screen? Right oh, now, the best stock idea show in the world. Boom. Oh, the, you have you made that? I made that. That's awesome. It, from twelve to one o'clock, it's on every page on Benzinga.com for an hour. It's not you on mobile. Have, I got to put it on mobile. You should put it on like at ten a.m., eleven a.m. to load to load it, or just you, you actually should have a link to our our, our show schedule. We now have four shows a day. Should have a link. Okay, we gotta. So we you have the Tesla here. This is what I wanted to show. So yeah, this is just Tesla, or I can't. This tell is you. everything. I'm showing off all the upgrades today. I, I just had Tesla filtered a second ago, but yeah. check this out. We, 162 recent upgrades. It's a shit ton in the past week or so. Can you do? Give me a filter of like ones with like 20% upside or more. Yes. Upside. So we want to go 50%, 50% upside 50%. or more. All right. So there's two stock. Oh. So what's that mean? That's the price target is fifty percent higher than where it's at today. What what's going on? What's correct? That? Yep, that that means that the analyst has come out and they said they they see the stock fifty percent or more 
above where, where the stock is at today. So, so XENT CPRI uh, analyst super bullish on this one. So Luke, I'm I'm not a, like put your mouse over EXENT. Does it the, does a little chart thing come up? No, or no? no little chart thing yet. Okay, so Luke, I I'm I'm I don't know maybe, maybe people think I'm a beautiful mind or whatever, but the problem that I have there is what price is that XENT? You should put like current stock price um or something so we can look at that, right? Yeah, you know what we we did actually have it in the first iteration. But uh, we we took it off because it was taking so long for for the page to load. When, when it's lo it loads a thousand ratings, so so we got to optimize it a little bit. Because when it loads a thousand ratings and it's got to pull all the price targets, all the current prices, it was all the logos, etc. So yeah, we got we got to get that on there. If you can't get it there, then put it above like somewhere else. So I mean, I have an Probably. idea that you can do it. To be honest, I have a better uh, way you yeah. can do it. Um, but okay, so now will you take me to Tesla's page again? Yeah, you want to see just ratings on Tesla? Yes, I need to. All right, so let's, there's Tesla. Let Give me make me. this. Let me show all positive, negative, rate, upside, downside. Maybe okay. I got to uncheck all these. Did there we go. All right, there's all your Tesla ratings. Confusing. Okay, so Goldman Sachs put an upgrade. Where's the price target, dude? We don't have a price target on it yet. You just said it was seven fifty or something. I know. I saw it in the news feed. It must not be in the calendar. Okay, so now. Look at these analysts. Just look, 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 look. So we're yep. this is this is in the history. So we're where is upgrades done? Okay, right there. So those are all upgrades and hold to buy. Scroll down a little bit. Yep. So Morgan Stanley, Adam Jonas. Let me see that right there. So upgrade his price target was two seventy two. Uh, uh, he makes me the laugh. Keep going. All right, I'm gonna keep going. There we go, Morgan Stanley. Okay, that was uh, underperformed in neutral. Okay, then I mean he he keep going, keep going. You're go he does a lot. Uh, he does a lot. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. When keep was the last time Tesla got a downgrade? Look at this. All of these are upgrades. Wow. Well, my brother in law, my brother in law, because you know Adam Jonas put out the uh, report that this is like six months ago or maybe eight months ago. Tesla has a chance to go to four hundred or to five dollars. And so when my brother in law saw that. He sold his Tesla. He hates Adam Jonas because of it. Uh, how um, long was that? A month ago? Two months ago? Somewhere no, around there? No, like eight months ago. Um, J yeah, J that, that, that guy definitely got it wrong. Oh, yeah. Jemaya, J-I-M-A. Yeah, we're watching it. We own some of it for the show. And Luke, I was thinking, I mean, I got distracted on the show. I was thinking, you know, about your um, your $10,000 account for like the show. Yeah. I was thinking we make it 100000 or even more. And um, like make a community board for it, and like we make trades, but then there's like guys that hedge. I don't know. Like make it more community ori oriented, so we get a separate account where we share share the logins, and passwords. The execution can only happen from certain people. But um, I just I, I think it'd be interesting. Um, yeah, I just think there's something bigger we can do with that community account. I mean, I do think we have some great traders in here. I, I do. I think yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I, there's like at least 10 that I see. I mean, there's a great awareness. Like, so for example, Best of Detroit just mentioned that um, they owned Elastic for uh, for months. I literally had Elastic written down on my notebook that I use for Benzinga Pro in the notes, and I forgot about it. I just forgot about it. It's one that I, no, Luke, literally, I was at the office with you one day, and I wrote it down, and I'm like, I'll buy that tomorrow. This was a month ago, and I didn't buy it. I just forgot. I forgot it was public. I was like shocked when Pierce said it. So. Um, I mean, are, this thing has had a hell of a run over the past year. So the past year, we got one candle back here on 80. Yes, it's up, what, 70%? Pretty good. 70% it's up now from that? From a year ago? I'm guessing. All right, let's see. It went from 80 to 135. Let's see how good my no, estimate that's, that's, Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just mad. All right, I'm but mad. If you, no, wait. Now I want to see how good my, my mental math was. 69%, I guess 70. Come on. 69%. That's pretty freaking good. 69%. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Um, all right. So I got to hop off, unfortunately. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Is this true? Manifesting president is ready to sign fiscal package. Like, is it moving right now? If that's true, you guys got to start buying your buying stocks, buying stuff that people would buy, buy, you know, jewelry stocks, buy, buy retail, buy stuff. People are going to spend money, buy trips. That's why my Royal, my Royal Caribbean options are coming back. 
Hey, oh, SPH, Luke, hop off on this. Yeah, I'll, just, 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 just FYI. I know, there's I know. been a lot of chatter all day today on the uh, the stimulus talks. It's, that seems positive from, from Luke, what I'm picking up. Luke, you're going to a sprint call, I think. But yep, I am. My question is, how is there a sprint call when you're having these issues? Like, I don't, I don't I mean, know. That we might get on the call and say we're not doing the call today. I really, I, I really, don't want to just, just, you know what I mean. I really don't think it's a good idea for me to go on it. I think I'll just be too crazy. Yeah, you're a crazy man. No, I mean, I think I'll be too angry. I know. Yep, I get it. I think keep me on here. I, I'm I know serious. what you're getting at. Yeah, go for it. I went. I, I started yelling. I'll this go do the dirty work. Yep. Well, if you don't want to do it, QRTTA. That'd be, how all right. You, all right. Peace out, guys. That's one of my Bye, stars. guys. Happy, guys. Happy trading. Thanks for spending time with me again. As always, we want this to be the trade idea resource. Love our Zinger Nation. Okay, OMP. I got to look at OMP. Hold on. OMP. I don't know OMP. Okay. God, my background, guys, is so bad. I think I'm in jail, don't I? So I apologize. I apologize. That's you'll be way clear backgrounds coming back in a soon. So o Oasis Midstream Partners LP. Oh, so the reason I clicked on it because I thought it was one of these. And dividend yield 20%, the um, two to 17. So, I mean, I, you know my feeling on oil, but um let me see. I don't see a reason to buy this one, but it's up 11% today, so market disagrees with me. So what's the reason to buy LMP? What is the reason? I mean, I looked at the charts, way undervalued. Yeah, okay. So James Braden is saying, way undervalued, you're welcome. You are welcome. Apostrophe, we need that one there, but it's all good. So I'm going to buy this James Braden, and I'm going to put your name next to it. If this does not perform, all right, I'm going to buy some right now. And what do I need? To, like a month? Okay, well. I'll put a three. Okay, here we go. Buying it, James, because you're so confident like that. I mean, I've never seen someone say, here's the pick. You're welcome. That is confidence. I bought it, James Brain. I'm writing it down. I'll make my pen out. Here we go. Notebook. James Braden. OMP. Street address is here. Okay, doesn't have it. All right, got it, got it, I got it. All right, now, um, oh, share my screen, yeah. Yeah, hey, that would have been that would have been helpful if I would have shared my screen because you could have seen me bought it, like, see me buy it, but I didn't share it. I apologize. Um, all right, yeah, the stimulus could be coming. That's why you're seeing these rallies, man. That's why you're seeing it. But you know, I don't know how likely it's going to happen. I, I don't. I mean, they got close last time, and it just seems hard. Jason, net is a takeover again. Got my insider info. Okay. <laughs> So net is a tip that, that, now that that's one I'll probably want to short to be honest. Cloudfair, like it, like when I see it, it got my insider info, I want to short those. But uh, my opinion on that would be I'm pretty good in the past six months. I have had three companies taken out that I've invested in, so I'm pretty good at calling these. Uh, 22 billion. I mean, it could be, it could be. I mean, that's for sure. You know, but I don't know who the buyers are for it, so I'm not going to make that move. Like I, I try to look at the stuff that I can totally understand. I don't know that one. Um, NRGU, you're mad about that one. So you want to see some charts. I can pull, I can share my screen one second. Um, here we go. We're talking about, you guys are liking these uh, oil leverage stuff. So you guys like the oil. All right. I am um, not an oil guy. Lately, I'm not an oil guy. That's for sure. Here we go. I'll share my screen. I'll get my ugly face off of the screen. There we go. All right. So oil. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, you got a 9% gainer today, but you're talking you're talking triple leverage on these things. And you know, you're at the whims of the market, right? So I like to I like to buy in the market with an unfair advantage where I think I have an informational edge. That's what I think. Um, and that's that's why why I buy that stuff. Um, SPR spirit, uh, aero systems, right? Like, or cause I remember I bought the wrong spirit and I've still made wait spirit. This is spirit. Yeah. Spirit aero. Yeah. This is the other way. Spirit airlines is what I get. The, all right, here we go. Here we got that one and save is the other one. That's right. That's right. And I bought SPR and made a bunch on the options. So I bought SPR as you guys know, by accident, uh, about a month ago, three. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, Definitely good ride with Boeing and, and air and airline industry, you know, coming back, it's definitely one that to take. It's def it's definitely one to go. Um, I don't know what Joel loves. I hear you saying that, but uh you've had spirits since five dollars. 
Damon, where were you? Why didn't you tell us? I didn't buy it at five. I bought it accidentally at 34. That was my fault. And I, um, it was good. Oh, Joel loves oil. Yeah, see, I just don't love oil because I'm a Tesla guy and I've always been um, a Tesla guy. So that's, that's why I don't love oil. But that's just me. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that I need to look at is we had on the CEO of, or CFO, I don't remember which one, of APXT this morning. So we're up 4.85% on it since he came out. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that move on APXT. Uh, did Chris interview? I don't know who interviewed him, but look at that. I mean, this is what we're talking about. So this is a SPAC. We had them out. We had to bring the CEO on. They're just like, listen, if you're watching CBC, it's fine. The channel's fine. I, 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 I love the, you know, um, what they do. I love all that. That channel's fine. My, but there's not an informational edge because everyone's watching it, right? When you're using something like Benzinga, and if you're really using the Benzinga, if you're watching our videos, our interviews with the CEOs, you're going to find very profitable trades at certain times, guaranteed. Like, it's just, it's get, like you're foolish not to. That's what I, what I would say to you guys. Like, we're going to have this kind of stuff. Um, I'll give you an ex another example. Why can I change URLs? Can I do that? Should be able to. Let's see. Hold on. Yep. Okay. We got it. All right. So this is like, you know, our YouTube channel and it allows you to see stuff live. But like, for example, TRSSF, which is TRSSF. We had the C chairman on at $2.50. It's another one. Um, now, our guy who gets our guests on has been out of town, not working. So we haven't had as many CEOs on. But you guys name this. Basically, what I would love Chris to do is create a Google Doc. Put companies that you want on our show, the companies, and then we'll vote which ones we want, like the top seven or 10, we'll go after them and we'll get them on the show. So you, let's crowdsource that. There's, I promise you we can get them on. Growing users from seven to 50 million, he said. Which one? What stock? Oh, AP. Um, so I, I, Chris, I should buy that one. This AP, where's the interview? Is there, I didn't see it. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Where is this interview? APXT. Hold on. Is it here? Um, I see. I see our channel. I don't see APXT. Where is it, Chris? Um, do you guys see the channel? So here's all of our like different interviews and views we do. Where is my Where's my Dave Portnoy? Right here. You guys are missing out on Dave Portnoy. He, he's great. Um, grow generation. Yeah, it's a good campus play, but it's not my favorite. I see APXT, Chris, but where is the interview from today? Why am I not seeing it here? I want to get. I want to give. I want to give the link in the chat so people can see it if they weren't here today. No one's gonna help me. Okay, I'll just, I'm gonna. I'm dying out here. But all right, no big deal. That's just what happens. All right. Um, I think you guys should watch that and go through some of these channels. We're doing little cuts, shorter clips, things. And if you guys have ideas where we think you can improve the YouTube channel to get you content that you want, um, let us know. Oh, if APXT is local STR, or when you say local, I mean, do you mean Detroit? If that's the case, we'll bring them in the office. We have a full video studio now in our office, full video studio. Yes, we have a Discord, uh, James Brayden, but we're not actively in it. Um, and I know we, we, sh we should be in it more. We have a Benzinga Pro with multiple chat rooms, and it's a little more curated, but we do have a Discord. I'm not in there enough, and I know we should be in there a lot more to curate ideas, absolutely, and uh, we'll work on that. Um, so, all right, so I shouldn't buy APXT. All right, I won't buy that right now then. Um, and uh, yeah, LAZR, I trade that a bunch. Um, live trading, we don't trade throughout the day live. Benzinga is, uh, do you guys know what Benzinga does? I mean, I can show you real quick what Benzinga does. I mean, we're, we're the biggest financial news provider like in uh, North America, like data and news. Um, so, so you do like the shorter clips, Frank. Frank, I'm, so I'll show you. You guys want to know what Benzinga does? You want me to show you? Okay, let's let's hold on. Benzinga.com. Here we go. Oh, I own IMR. I like it. So, um, so yeah, Imran, Imran Khan. Again, like my picks don't move like that unless I say it, it's a trade like that. I'm very clear on that. So when I bought five below, I bought five below. For the earnings play, right? I own it long term. I own a small amount of high level for it long term, and I'll keep it for a while. I've, I've owned it for a while, but I bought options for earnings. So the catalyst was last night. The earnings happened. 
they were great. So that was a win. We're going to have losses. I'm not, we're not going to always have wins on earnings plays. Guaranteed. Okay. Just accept it. When I buy companies like Upwork or Tesla, I look like a fool for many months. On Upwork, I have, I can show you my phone from Lexi ripping me. It went down from like 24 to like 16. I, I look like a fool. On IMMR, I don't understand IMMR, Imran. Chris Kaji, who I trust on this stuff, he was talking about for the remote controls and how it works. I believe him on it. So I'm staying in IMMR. I'm not expecting a big pop within a, a four days when somebody gave it to me. That's personally what I'm not expecting. Um, so, and th that's, that's just me. Okay. Um, by the way, Frank M, we do have videos out why Benzinga Pro is the best uh, platform and better than all the competitors that we didn't do, that users did. I'll, sh I'll show it to you in a, in a second, but I need to take you guys through something real quick. I'm sorry I got distracted from um, Imran Khan. Okay, so we go to Benzinga.com. If you wanted to see our full feed, not our premium articles, but our full feed of articles, it's you know, Benzinga.com slash BZ feed. So this is just Benzinga.com slash BZ feed, right? And this is, guys, I, I, I want to get all the, to the, all the other stocks. I just, it's, I'm hard. It's, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. So these, these are our full stories, like why Sutra Limits and healthcare stocks are moving today, the reason gainers, losers. You could go down and see what we publish from morning to night. Like, so here's, you know, options activity in the markets. Then you hit the next button and you can see all our stories that we published throughout the day. We're a full service financial media company. There are about 105 people that work at Benzinga. Um, about six months ago or a year ago, we were about 40 or 50 people. So, and we're still changing it out in, in, a, in a, um, we're still changing it out a bunch with like people that are passionate about the markets. We're still trying to hire people that get the markets and can make us way better. We think we have a lot of holes in our business where we need to improve. And so we're trying to find, we're not trying to hire like the normal way where you, um, you know, where you put job ads up and so on and supplies. If someone thinks they're good, then we say, show us. Like a guy tweeted to me yesterday that he can make, you know, very, you know, hard, complex things into in, uh, in, in, infographics and videos. And he sent it to me and he wrote the thing down, but it wasn't easy to understand still. So maybe he just needs to get a better chance at it. Um, but this is what we do. And, you know, we talk to the big people, you know, biggest people in the world. And we want to bring you guys like the biggest CEOs in the world. There's no reason not to. But we can't do it without your help. And without the whole Zinger Nation community, I mean, that's how this stuff grows. So this is like our news feed. That's our news feed. But if we went to like, um, I guess we could do this. I'll do one little quick thing too. Then I have to go offline and I have to join this, you know, meeting at our company right now. This dev meeting, but I just, you guys are getting me out of it for a minute because I really want to. You want to gamble? I mean, there. Oh, uh, Michael Medina's talking. About, I know how to gamble. Okay. There are gambling trades too, and don't get me wrong, I like those too sometimes. I do them. I did it on AMD. It was really fun. Um, I just didn't hold on long enough. I, buy, I owned AMD at three dollars, guys, but I didn't. I did not hold on to it until eighty. I promise you that, and I should have, obviously. All right, so we're gonna do one last thing that I want to show you guys, so you guys can get an idea of what Benzinga does. Do, do, do. Hold on one second. I just need to play some music. So you, all right, here we go. Perfect example. Okay, so now we're going to hit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share my screen in one sec, guys. Hold on. Don't leave me yet. Don't leave me yet. I know you guys all want to get out of here and go to your next activity of the day. But we're going to do this. Uh, hold on one sec. We got to get different accounts. All right. Don't leave yet, guys. Fubo TV. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. What about Genius? Do you guys like Genius still? Their TV thing, the Warren Buffett cartoon guy. I mean, do you guys like that still? I don't know. Anyways, let's go to Ameritrade. You guys see Ameritrade here? We're going to zoom in one. Take my screen off. Riley, shh. I'm on, I'm on video. You're screwing up stuff, Riley. Quiet. Okay. If you guys can see my screen, great. All right? I said smash the like, but this is Ameritrade. Benzinga's content is here. So, um, you know, like, so you see the news items right here, um, right here. So like Tesla settlement with um, Michigan could be undone by auto dealer, you know, back business, whatever. So we're producing 
the content that, that goes on these platforms. So all the stuff that you see here is us producing the content. So look, you see Market Watch, you see Benzinga, Benzinga. We're like the BZ Newswires. If you go to Thinkorswim, you'll see it's called uh, BZ Newswires. So we have a team of 30, 50 writers, and I'm saying we're always looking for more people. So I'm just trying to show you how our business works and how this news gets in here and how the content is delivered. Um, so we're we're like a full service financial data and media company. These shows are a takeoff of doing something different and trying something else, um, and that's all. Benzinga started in my basement about 10 years ago, nine, 10 years ago, and our focus, you know, and still is, is making brokerages better with better content and data and indicators. And that's what we do as a business. And then we have these shows like this to help, you know, bring ideas, bring excitement and, and explain stuff. There's a lot of guys that are selling you a bill of goods and just talking about their winners and not showing you ahead of time. And, and we, and we don't do that. And, and Patrick Lane is calling. So I'm going to be the last thing, but Patrick is here. Patrick say hi. Hello. Patrick, when is the small cap event? December 8th and 9th, be there. So December 8th and 9th, and that is uh, two days. How many people, you're on You're on the air. How many people are signed up right now? Hello, hello, 30, no, no, we just got a new number, 41,000. So there's 41,000 people signed signed up, um, and uh, I can't hold the phone 70, right. 72 presenting companies. 72? 72. Because I'm about to send you a couple more because the people in this they want these other companies to present but if not you'll do another one and the link is bz small cap right yes bz small cap dot com dot com okay and then um okay so that is it yeah no insg dapper you've been promoting it all day we've known about insg for years and everyone's been in it for a long time so you don't need to keep promoting it we i know we know you love it man okay so there's one guy who's posting this all right, Benzinga Free Market Press, a good show. But guys, thank you for joining us today. If you like the show, please smash the like button and tell your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, the more the merrier. And we'll try to bring me, Kevin, on uh, tomorrow or next week. You know, tell him on YouTube he should come on. We love you and make it a profitable day.